guys, what's up and welcome back to Ika YouTube. Today I am so excited because if you watched our last video, you would know that I was lucky enough to a year ago be on the set for Swimming for Gold and interview three of the amazing people. And if you haven't seen the interview with Peyton List, who played Claire Carpenter in the movie, it was the main character. It'll be in the description box down below. Make sure you go and watch it. It was super duper fun. And today I'll be showing you guys my interview with... Lauren Esposito and Olivia Nardini. Okay, so hi guys. So can you first tell us a little bit about yourselves? Ooh, you want to go first? Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, my name is Lauren Esposito. I'm 21 years old and I was originally born in Adelaide, South Australia, but then I moved to Melbourne when I was about 14 with my family and then moved to Los Angeles when I was 19. <laughs> a lot of travel. A lot of traveling, <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, I've been acting since I was 17 for film and TV and did um, musical theatre and stuff like that since I was 12. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Hi, I'm Olivia. <laughs> Olivia Nardini. Um, I'm from Perth in WA, so it's a little bit different from here. Very sunny. Um, I've been doing acting since I was about eight years old, I think. I went to my first class. I was like, really, I, I took a while for me to realise what I wanted to do. And I, finally found acting and I went to the first drama class and had a lot of fun and then I just kept going and now I'm 19 so it's taken a long time <laughs> to get into a movie which is really cool yeah so we are so excited for swimming for gold so can you tell us a bit about your characters so okay. <laughs> I play Michaela Michaels she is the antagonist I would say Claire Carpenter's rival in the film yeah yeah, I play Annabelle Shumpert. I'm um, a bit of a firecracker, I would say. Mm -hmm. um, I'm Claire Carpenter's biggest fan. So I'm a big, I'm a big nerd. I love all of her stuff. I'm her, I have all her like swimwear and her products. I just love her so much. So what are some similarities and differences between yourself and your characters in the film? Uh, for me personally, I would hope I'm not as mean as what Michaela is. <laughs> Um, I consider myself a nice person, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> mostly. <laughs> um, that would probably be my biggest difference. Yeah, um, I'm very, I would say I'm very similar in terms of being um, very outgoing and I pull a lot of funny faces. I think me and Annabelle do that all the time. I pull a lot of funny faces and so does she. Um, a difference is maybe... I think so Annabelle makes some really bold fashion choices that even I yeah, have still not been brave enough to discover but <laughs> definitely playing this character like I've, I'm going to wear a lot more colourful clothes after this one. Oh yeah. <laughs> so what has your favourite scene been in Swimming for Gold? Uh, my favourite scene to film was probably when we went to the waterfall. Um, it was just a, such a beautiful location and it, I, I think it's gonna look just awesome on mm. on camera because of where we were and it was just so much fun We all I mean it was very very cold <laughs> But we all like jumped in and it was it was just a really fun couple of days filming. So I that love one. being in the water mm -hmm. Yeah, we were in the water a lot during this film mm. yeah. quite a lot All sorts of water too the pool the pool mm. and waterfalls. Yeah <laughs> waterfalls <laughs> Yeah, I, I think my favorite scene was when I first meet Claire because I get to re it's the first time you'll see Annabelle in the film and she's very excited and very over the top and she screams really really loud I got to shock everybody in that scene when we first <laughs> filmed it because they were all like oh they were really scared yeah definitely that scene was just so fun to film because I was so full of energy and I got yeah. to be big character <laughs> it's sort of like me because I'm with my friends I'm always like screaming going over the top and I'm yeah. always coming up with these weird ideas I'm like the weird one in the group yeah. You're the creative one. <laughs> <laughs> so, did you guys have any on-set embarrassing moments you can share? <laughs> Probably. Yeah, I would say so. I, I yeah, I definitely had a few. Um, Sorry, I've just my, thought of something. Yeah, my, <laughs> I think my big one is when I forgot one of my lines. Where, the scene where I met Claire for the first time, I screamed and I ran up to her so fast and I got so overexcited that I just completely forgot my life. So I went up to her, I was like, I don't have I anything. I don't know what I'm saying right now. Oh, it was so embarrassing. Yeah. 
Mine, mine would probably be, not like during filming, but the rehearsal week beforehand, we all had uh, swimming lessons. <laughs> and um, I, I, I like dived before, but like not properly no. from this experience. Um, we had a coach with us and I decided to go first. <laughs> and I get up on the diving board and I'm like, I do the form all correctly or whatever. And then I belly flop into the water twice in front of everyone, being so confident. Like a big fat like belly flop. Like it was like, like, it was like <laughs> So. It hurt so much. It and I was trying to do a dive and you go and the belly flop just like out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. It hurts yeah. so yeah. much. You don't think a belly flop would hurt. No, but it kills it your tummy. And I was very confident about it too, which made it even more embarrassing. It really does. So, have you guys bonded well with the cast? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> They're like my second family, I would say. Oh, let's they do all. We, we've all become really close, I would say that. Well, for me anyway. Yeah, we've no, no. Very we've, close. We've all, all of us have become very close. We all hang out after work and yeah. go out for dinners all the time. and We yeah. see each other every day. Every single day. Even on weekends when we're not working. Yeah, we're like, we always hang out. Let's go get an acai bowl oh. <laughs> or ice cream. <laughs> so you hang out off set. So mm. what else do you get up to, like, offset with each other? What have we done? A lot of eating, I would say. <laughs> we like, eat a, a lot, lot of we, we love to go to different places to try different foods, different mm. ice creams. We've tried so many flavour ice creams while we've been mm -hmm. here. I'm not that adventurous with foods, so if there's something on the table that I don't like, I w won't touch it. And if someone mm. serves it to me, I'll eat it and then I'll just <laughs> go and grab the cookies and be like, Oh, because you know okay. you'll like the cookies. Yeah. I like this, <laughs> but I'll, I'll just like <laughs> yes. avocado. Oh, you don't like avocado? No. Oh, I it's love like... avocado. Oh, no, <laughs> no. And we have this at dinner, we have this plate, and it's just full of vegetables and fruits. And I always eat the cucumbers, mm -hmm. the tomatoes, the carrots, never the capsicum or the avocado. Oh. oh. So you're like the it. opposite of me. I love my avocado and my capsicum. No. <laughs> so can you spill any on set secrets or fun things that happened? Mm. What's an on set <laughs> secret so you can spill? I don't know, there's like, there's, there's not secrets I would say, but there's definitely some little surprises you might get to see at the end of the film that funny things have happened to us while we're there. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, on set secrets, there's not many really. I think we're all so open with each other. We yeah. tell each other when something embarrassing is happening. <laughs> <laughs> We've had some cast members fall over or do something embarrassing. We just tell each other straight away because we think it's so funny. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I don't think we have any like secret no. secrets. If they so. are, they're probably a they're secret probably for secret a reason. From us. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know any. So, what do you like to get up to in your spare time? Do you guys have any hobbies? Eating? <laughs> I think it's my hobby is eating. She's found her favourite cauliflower wings at this vegan oh, place yes. around the corner that she's obsessed with. I've did, yeah, I've discovered cauliflower wings. So they're like chicken wings, but instead of the chicken inside, it's cauliflower. You'd probably hate it, yes. but it's really yummy. It's really nice. But yeah, no, I, I I usually go hiking a lot when I'm mm. in LA. And yeah, she, yeah she's, she's still on the chicken with cauliflower. Oh my god. <laughs> Actually, You'll try it one yeah. day. <laughs> we've been, we've done a lot of things, like we went snorkeling together, the cast, and a few other people. Yeah. That was really, really fun. No, it's I fun. went snorkeling once, but I was so scared of the fish, because there were fish everywhere. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I ended up going on this boat with this guy and just feeding fish to the fish. <laughs> that was that fun? Really fun? Yeah, that was fun. Yeah. So, what is up like next for both of you? So do you have any exciting things in the works? <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I'm supposedly on another feature after this and we're going to be filming in Newcastle Ooh. in New South Wales which will be fun. Oh. Yeah, like a dark comedy, horror Ooh. kind of movie. Completely yeah. different. Completely different to this one. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have anything lined up really. I think I'm just going to go home and then see what happens. I never know. Got to take the flight back to Perth first. Yeah. <laughs> see well, what's happening over there. Yeah. Okay, so what do you think fans are going to love about Swimming for Gold? I just think it's such a cute little fun movie, like for everyone. I think mm -hmm. kids all ages, even teenagers and adults would, would enjoy it because it's fun and 
there's a lot that happens and yeah. I think it just it will relate to a, like a lot of people yeah there's a lot of there's a lot of things in there where it's um very heartwarming and it's funny there's a lot of uh, especially her character she is <laughs> hilarious <laughs> yeah hopefully I can make you laugh <laughs> um, yeah it's, it's a movie for everyone I think that's what we love about it the most it's this little little special moments in it for everyone yeah so thank you guys so much for your time it was really fun to get you to know you through all these questions yeah. good answers and I will have to check out that cauliflower chicken cauliflower, cauliflower wings. wings so it's like yeah it's cauliflower with batter over it it's like I don't know if it's fried or sometimes it's deep fried so you'll oh, probably like it then it's crispy on the outside it's nice thank you thank, thank you, you so much for having us yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you so much for watching that video. I hope you loved it. I absolutely loved interviewing Peyton and both of the girls. And make sure you go and get the October issue of It Girl where both of the interviews are in there so you can read them over and over again. And Swimming for Gold, the movie, is out in cinemas now. And it is such an amazing movie. Go watch it and make sure you subscribe. See you guys on the next video.